that my part is right down the middle of my head. And I'm just gonna make sure I also have like the same amount of hair on each side. Okay, so I'm gonna start by grabbing a little chunk of hair. I'm gonna twist it, and I'm gonna grab some more hair, and I'm gonna twist that in. I'm just gonna keep going. Twist, grab, twist, grab, twist. And you can do more than one twist. And then I'm just gonna go down and just grab the rest of the hair and twist it. And now I'm gonna grab a little see-through elastic. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna take it and just tie this off as if I were doing pigtails. So this is what I've got so far. And you're just gonna braid it. another elastic and tie it off. Okay, so now this is optional, but I'm just gonna pull the braid on the sides to make it look bigger and like puffier and prettier. And you're done. I'm just gonna do the other side and see you in a sec. And just make sure that both of them are even. Both of the ties are even. And you're done. I love this hairstyle. Style number two, I'm gonna have twist pigtails. All you're gonna do is pull out your bands and undo your braid. This was supposed to be style one, but whatever. And so you're gonna have these twist pigtails. Voila. And number three is our twin low messy buns. This just comes from this hairstyle. You're just gonna take your pigtails and twist them. Now you don't have to do this whole twist thing, that's optional. I'm just, that's just how I do mine. And you're gonna take the hair up and wrap it around. You wanna keep it kinda of loose, cause I'm gonna pull it later. I'm done. And then pin it. And now I'm just gonna pull this. And you can really shape these however, I just do mine like these. Other side. Now, 
I'm gonna do the other side. So right here. Okay, all done. Now, this part, I'm probably the only person in the universe that does this, but I feel like otherwise, I literally can't do it. So I'm gonna take all of my hair, so it's gonna look really bad for a second. And I'm gonna get a hair tie, not two, but one. And I'm gonna tie this other hair back here. I'm just gonna tie it up so it's not so it's not in my way. And I'm gonna flip my head over. And I'm gonna brush it. Okay. Grab your hair and just pull it up to the top as if you're doing a ponytail and brush it again. Then I'm gonna grab a hair tie. It's easier if you have one that's like any other color of your hair. So it blends in better. You are gonna wrap it around, but. Okay, now, we are going to literally just braid this. That's it. I'm just gonna go to the end. This is not permanent, but I'm gonna tie it just so I can pull it out like I did with my braids. Okay, now I'm gonna take this big band off and I am just going to wrap this around the top. I'm gonna make it a little bit loose. I'm gonna hold my hand off the top. I'm just gonna pull this down and pin it. Besides your day going. So that that awkwardness is over. And take out your hair. Now usually I will I will like curl the bottom, but you know what? Today, just wake up, get it done. I love this hairstyle. And it's time for the next hairstyle. Okay, am I the only one that will take down my hair and, you know what, I'll sometimes even like take a shower and the next day I'll wake up and find a pin in my hair. Like how did it stay? I don't even know, but you know, we're gonna try and make sure that that doesn't happen. And I my scalp, okay. Style number five is high messy pony. More brushing, ow! be a little bit like puffy in the front for what I'm doing but I don't really want like bumps like this see that okay. you know but you can't avoid it all all right I'm really terrible at tying ponytails it's just gonna stay there we've made a nest in my hair Just pretend that that really looks good. Okay, so usually for this part, I will get a scrunchie or headband. So let me go, I'll be right back. Ow! What? Okay, so I'm gonna kind of move this up because I want this to be a little bit puffier. And you know what, I'm just gonna pull it up just a little bit and get this. Perfect, okay. I'm going to go ahead and put my scrunchie on. I'm just gonna do little ones. And now, I'm gonna actually fluff my hair a little bit, tease it. I'm not gonna be like brushing it up, you just wanna do a little bit. And pull it. And there you go. You know what? Usually I do a scrunchie, but today, I'll be back again.
again. Okay guys, so this, I'm actually gonna use this headband and I'm gonna grab a little piece of hair in the back. And this is super simple. Probably already know how to do this, but. Gosh. Okay, and I'm just gonna wrap it around my hairband. And a little pin, and I'm just gonna pin the back. Okay, you're done. Okay, boom. Style number six, I'm gonna turn this into a messy bun. Headband, excuse me, the headband off. Whatever this is, take off the little wrap around your hair. If you can. I do not know where the other hairpin went. We'll find that soon. Okay, we found the other hairpin. No, we did not. We found another knot in our hair. Another bird's nest. I'm just gonna twist it, keep it really loose. Around. And pin it up. Usually takes me probably three pins or more. And now I'm just gonna pull some pieces down right where my ears are. And really pop this. Okay, you're done. Again, you can add a headband or even a scrunchie, which I do sometimes. seven I am going to do a braid that goes across my head so I'm just gonna pick where I want it to be so I'm gonna do like right here I'm gonna grab all the hair and again I really don't want this to be here so I'm just gonna tie this part so I don't end up grabbing some of the hair for it okay and from where you are you're gonna braid it and then you're gonna flip it to the other side. So let's do a braid. And just kind of bring it over as you braid, making sure it's a nice tight braid. Okay, once you get over to the side, you're just gonna pick up a little piece of hair from your section and cross it over, adding it into the braid. Again, Pick up, pull it into the braid. And you kind of want to stay in your section. You don't want to make sure that you don't grab all the hair. And here, just a little bit more. This is about it. And now from here, you're just gonna do a, you're just gonna finish off braiding normally as you would. Okay, and if you want, which is what I always do with braids, pulling it out. Still keeping it pretty neat. You can make a twist to cover the start of the braid and pin it in the back. I think it's really cute. Number eight, I like to call twin unicorn buns. So they're just gonna be two little buns on top of your head. You're kinda gonna have to make sure that you have some of the hair on the back. And take your hair, we're gonna tie this back in a moment. Other side. So where is this? So here, so like right here. Okay, this is like the best hairstyle ever, guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna tie my hair in the back. I'm gonna take my hair and pull it into little tiny 
pig's tail, basically. Okay. And I'm going to twist it. You could also braid it, or you don't have to do anything. Whatever works for you. And I'm going to wrap it around and around. And now, this one kind of ended up lopsided, but yeah. One side done. Why not just do that? Whatever. And now I'm gonna do the other side. You wanna make sure that they're both level the same side so when they're not in different places. And I like them. Style number nine. I don't really know what this is called, but basically, you are again are again you are going to make a little little part right here, as if you're parting your hair, and you're going to scoop up the hair all the way into the back. And then you're gonna get a clear hair tie. Probably can't see it, because it's clear. And you're just gonna tie it in the back. And then you're gonna go ahead and do the other side. Try to make it even. I'm not really good at making it even, but like, we still try. Okay, this one's harder. I have slime in my hair, I don't know why, but I do. This is what it looks like. Oh no, they're not really even here. That's better. So this is what it looks like. And number 10, we're just gonna add braids to the style we've already created. Okay, and now you're done once you tie it off. Okay, and this is how it should turn out. Now it's Julia's turn. This down because this is not the hairstyle I'm showing, though I wish it was. Anyways, so here's a little style that I do. It's like a butt on top of my head and it looks really cute. So. And it's super cute for straight hair girls too. The reason why I did this one is because if you have curly hair like me and do you ever have parts where like it's very frizzy and then there's like most of it is all curly and you wanna see the curl but you don't want the frizz to be there. So this way you just pull all the frizzy stuff up on top and it looks cute. So what I did is I just gathered up all the frizzy parts. All of it, I have a lot. And so I like put it in a ponytail like I'm gonna put a ponytail and then what you do is take it and you just wrap it around your finger, one finger, and just keep wrapping it around until it's all wrapped around and then you just tie it off twice or three times depending on how thick and uh, non-thick your hair is. I'm just gonna do it twice but you guys can do it more. And then you can either puff it up or pull stuff out like however you like it and then they go. And there you go. Okay guys, we hope that that 
help with your back to school routine. We hope it made it easier for you to get your hair. Yeah, draw the five second hairstyle. They were not five seconds. Not for you, but for me. If you like that and you want to see more, let us know on Instagram. But now, it is time for a shout out. Woo! JGirl07 and Life as a Bestie. Thank you so much for being part of our CG family. We hope you enjoyed this video. And we love you guys so much. Bye! I cannot say that. Okay, one more. Okay. <laughs>